Okay, so verb. What is a verb? Anything which shows action. Yes, anything that shows action is a yeah. verb. Yeah. Right? Or action or indicates the state of being. Yes. Okay. Action or let me just go back. Or state of being or existence. Actions or state of being or existence. Yes. So it says wolf ran across the sand. So what is the verb here? Ran. Right, because it shows the action. Yes. She seems upset. Seems. Is the verb? Yeah. Suddenly someone sneezed loudly. Sneezed. Right, so these are the verbs yes. in the sentence. Now let's go to the noun. And what is a noun? Any any word that describes any name. Name. Person, been, animal, place, whatever. We've been there, used yeah. to hearing that it's the name of a person, place, or a thing. Yeah. Right? But it's the name of anything. You can say yes. name of anything is a noun. Name of anything. It can be person, animal, place, thing, idea, quality, action. Yes. And it can be the name of verb also. Mm -hmm. When we said it's the name of the action. Yes. Right? So how is it the how is the uh, name of an action a noun? Because, as you said, it's the name of anything. So, any any action that you take, if you have a name to it, right? So, let around. let us give you an example here. If we say, he is swimming. He is swimming. Right. So, mm -hmm. what is swimming in here? Swimming is a word. Yeah. Right. If I say swimming is a good exercise. Swimming is a good exercise. Yes. In this case, swimming is a noun. Swimming is a noun. Yes. So that is when we say it is the name of a action. Well, let me just write it down. So you're saying mm -hmm. he is swimming. So swimming is naturally a verb. Right. When you say swimming, is a good exercise. Is a good exercise. You have given a name to the exercise, and this is where swimming becomes a noun. Noun. Yes. yes. So this is when the verb behaves as a noun, mm -hmm. and it is called gerund. When a verb behaves like a noun. It becomes a gerund. Yeah. And gerund is always a singular noun. Will always be singular. Yeah. Yes, because you cannot say swimming is a good exercise. Right. Okay. okay. So that's verb and now let's move. Okay. Pronoun. Yes. What is a pronoun now? Any word, yes, any word that's substitute. Yes, substitute. Yeah. Now we have different forms of pronouns which we will not discuss here. We'll discuss it when we do the pronoun errors. Okay. So these are the different forms of pronouns. Mm -hmm. Personal pronoun, demonstrative pronoun, interrogative pronoun, relative pronoun, reflexive pronoun, and, and intensive pronoun. And you're saying this will be <coughs> to be discussed later? Yes. When we do pronoun the pronouns errors. properly. Okay. Right. Then adjective. An adjective, anything that modifies a noun. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. So it says, truck shaped balloon floated over the treetops. Or so truck shaped. Yeah. So balloon is the noun? Balloon is the noun. And truck shaped modifies it? Yes. This is a noun. This is a modifier of the ah, noun. So right. it's so an that adjective. adjective. Yes. Then the second sentence Mrs. Morrison papered her kitchen walls with hideout. Hideous. Hideous <laughs> wall, uh, wallpapers. Yeah. So walls is noun? Yeah. Kitchen becomes the adjective here, kitchen mm -hmm. walls. Yeah. And with hideous wallpaper. Wallpaper is noun. Yes. Wall so is again hideous, also hideous. Hideous paper. becomes an adjective. Right. And uh, kitchen walls. Becomes also becomes the modifier here. Yes. Okay. Now then we see small boot foundered on, on the, the wine dark sea. sea. Small. Small is an adjective, wine dark is an adjective. Very nice. Yes. Okay, so let's move to the other words. Preposition. preposition. So preposition is a word or a word group that indicates the relationship between a noun and a noun or a verb and a noun. Always for relationship. Let me just go back. Always for relationship. Yes. So book is on the table. The, the book and the table, the relationship so is, is on. on. Yes, so it becomes, so this becomes the preposition. preposition. Yes. The book is leaning against the table. Again, the book and the, and table, the table and against becomes a preposition. Right. She yeah. held the book over the table. Book, table are the two nouns yeah. and over becomes a relationship, over is the preposition. She read the book during the class. Book <coughs> and class during is the preposition. Right. Yeah. So in uh, sentence second and third, we also saw the 
relation between the verb and the noun. Yes. Right? So it is the relation. And in idioms also, you the basic thing that you understand in idiomatic expression is also that the word and the preposition, the right preposition with it. So that that time also you'll have okay. one. It could just be this, you're saying idi in idioms, yeah, you have to identify the relationships the of right, prepositions. The right preposition with the word. Like if I say ability for, this is a wrong idiom. Right. Why? Because the preposition with ability is always two. two. Ability so two. that is what the yeah. idiomatic expression is. Okay, right prepositions have to be identified in idiomatic yes. expressions. Okay. Then the adverb. Yeah. We said adjective modifies a noun, mm -hmm. but adverb modifies an adjective, yes. a word, and an adverb. Yes. So th that is the uh, verb, adjective, or uh, another adverb. Yes. Like we said, the designer quickly made the wedding clothes. So quickly is modified what? Quickly modifies the verb made. Verb here. Yes. So, yes. So, so therefore, it is a adverb. Adverb. Yes. Right. The boldly spoken words. Words the is what? Words is noun. Right. Spoken, but spoken becomes. Words become spoken is becomes uh, adjective. Ad spoken would become adjective. Adjective. Yes. And, and boldly, boldly become. becomes an adverb. So that yes. means in first sentence, yes. adverb modified verb. Absolutely. In second sentence, adverb modified, modified adjective. adjective. Now read the se uh, third sentence. We urged him to dial the number more expeditiously. So more is an adverb. Yes. And uh, the adverb here modified, another adverb. Another adverb, which is expeditiously. Yes. Yes. Okay. So an adverb can modify an adjective, it can modify a verb, and it can modify another adjective. Perfect. Whereas adjective can modify only a noun. Only a noun. Right. Yes. Okay, so let's move. So do you is there is there any more in the grammar? Yes. Or are we going to otherwise we would have taken the next video. Okay, we have a phrase in the clause. Yes. Yes. Now what is a phrase? It's just a group of words. Contains neither a subject nor a verb. Mm -hmm. It does not have a meaning of its own. Just mm -hmm. a group of words like in a flash, after midnight, so they before the lunch. Mm -hmm. These are the word groups which are known as phrases. So in a flash, after midnight. These portions are. After that, the sentence starts. Yes, absolutely. So, right. Mm -hmm. But the clause. When we come to the clause, it's a group of words containing a subject and a verb. That form part of the sentence. That form part of the sentence. We have two types of clauses. One is dependent clause, and another is independent. Independent clause. and dependent. Right now. And uh, what is a dependent clause is which can not stand of its own. Okay. And independent clause is which, which can, can stand of its own. Which can be a perfect sentence in its right. own. Right. When you have a dependent and an independent clause in a sentence, mm -hmm. you separate it with a comma. For okay. example, if we say, mm -hmm. because he was not feeling well. Should I add yeah. Because he was not feeling well. Comma. He did not attend the class. He did not attend the class. Now the first portion, the first clause is a dip, in, dependent class. Because he was not feeling because well. Because if I say because he was not feeling it well. It does not make any sense. Yes, you would want to want me to complete the sentence. Yes. And second uh, sen uh, clause says he did not attend the class. So this is a complete sentence. Yes. So it this is th this is a, a second one is a independent clause. This is independent. And this the first one is dependent. dependent. Absolutely. So we separate these two clauses with a comma. With a comma. But if I remove the mm, uh, word because from the first sentence, he was not feeling well. Right. He just, did not just, attend. Just to remove it, just uh, cross it out. Okay. Okay. So we say he was not feeling well. He was not feeling well. Is he, an is is, is, a, is an independent, independent clause. clause. He did not attend the class is again an independent class. Yes. So we separate two independent clauses with a semicolon. Okay. Why we say this is because this comes under sentence structure. GMAT does not test you on punctuation, but because it comes under sentence structure, so you need to know. Okay, so this comes under sentence structure. Right. So I just repeat this quickly. What you're saying is when it was because he was not feeling well, mm -hmm. there's a comma, he did not attend the class because a dependent and an independent clauses were being put together. Right. This can be in any any order. Any order. There, there's always a comma. Yes. But when you have two independent mm -hmm. clauses, mm -hmm. which is like he was not feeling well, he did not attend the class, there's there's bound to be a semicolon. Semicolon. Right. Okay. And if we put a, a comma between two independent clauses, that means we're doing an error and that error is called comma splice or run on sentence. Okay. So if you put a, so now what you're saying is if he was not feeling well, comma, 
he did not enter the class is an error yes so what what will it be called it is comma splice or run on sentence comma splice yeah okay or run run on sentence we call it so this comes how do you how, how do you run or you can run 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 on, run on. on. okay yeah. run on so this comes under sentence structure error okay so sometimes in uh, the sentence structure question you see one answer choice gives comma and an other answer choice gives semicolon so go back to the choice and see the independent because the, because, because there's bound to be a comma splice yes, or a non yes, error somewhere yes, right, right okay okay so uh, with this we through with the terminology that we going to see so rest we'll take in the next video okay so we we going to be taking everything yes. else in the next video yes. we what what are we going to take in the next video modifiers modifiers perfect right so thank you very much we'll quickly come back sure. to the next video